almost 10 years ago, Apple's health app was nothing more than a basic step tracker. Since then, it has developed into a powerful tool integrating various sensors, wearables, and other health and fitness apps to track data. Recent rumors suggest that Apple plans to expand its health and fitness service this year, and we're excited about it. Totally agree. Today, let's delve into the specifics and see what it's about. Let's begin. Health app on the iPad. Although Apple's health app has been around for some time, it has only been accessible to iPhone owners. With the iPad being one of the most widely utilized devices in several fields, it's a shame that no proprietary health app is featured on the device. But as we all know, Apple likes to offer the best services, and this glaring omission was never going to last. According to Mark Gurman, this year's issue of iPadOS will finally feature a health app to help users store health and fitness information from the Apple Watch and other sources. In addition, Apple is introducing a tool that will let users record their emotions, reflect on their day through a series of questions, and then evaluate their responses over time. Interesting. We'll talk more about it very soon, but before that, let's get into details of a new journaling app expected to debut as Apple expands in the mental and physical health technology market. Journaling app. Journaling is a common practice that lets you track and record your activities and provide benefits in self-reflection and goal-setting. With journaling apps like Day One, the top-rated app in the App Store, downloaded over 15 million times and received over 200,000 five-star ratings worldwide, you can do it all digitally. Like several health features, Apple's health app does not offer this service. But as we said earlier, a new and exclusive journaling app that will allow users to aggregate their daily activities is expected to be included in iOS 17. The app is codenamed Jurassic, according to Wall Street Journal. It will build on the company's Find My Service and other location-based features. In addition, Apple plans to add more social networking elements to those functions. There's not much details on that at this point, but we'll make sure to keep you updated. So subscribe to our channel and don't miss out. Mood Tracker. On Apple's App Store, there are about 500 apps that can track your mood, as they have been gaining popularity recently. Whether you want to visualize trends and create reports or simply want to monitor their stress levels, mood tracking apps can do it all. This would be good for public health. Oh. However, up until now, it's a function that's been absent from Apple's health app. Considering the steady rise in usage, it's no surprise that Apple plans to adopt it. According to German, Apple is working on updating the health app with features like emotion tracking and tools for managing nearsightedness and other vision issues. The mood tracker tool will analyze the user's speech, typed words, and other device data by an algorithm to determine the user's mood. It's an advanced technology. But that's not all. According to a report shared by Mark Gurman, Apple will include a new coaching service in its iOS and iPadOS 17 update. So what does it mean for users? Coaching Service App, Quartz. As people seek personalized guidance and support to help them achieve their goals and improve their lives, coaching services like Fitbit, Noom, and BetterHelp have become indispensable in many people's lives. With Apple attempting to improve its health and fitness service, a coaching service was critically acclaimed, Apple will provide. Mark Gurman says Apple is developing a fitness-focused service called Quartz, which will encourage customers to eat healthier exercise often, and get more sleep. Life keeps getting better and better! It will utilize AI and Apple Watch's data to create a unique regimen for each customer. However, this new service will be a paid service that Apple will introduce probably next year. Still, it's an exciting update to look forward to. Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section about what you think about Apple's health app and features. WWDC 2023 Apple usually reveals new versions of operating systems for devices, including smartphones, tablets, laptops, and TV, as well as new iterations for MacBook devices at the WWDC events. Last year, Apple unveiled iOS 16, iPadOS 16, macOS 13 Ventura, tvOS 16, and watchOS 9, along with a new M2 MacBook Air and 13-inch MacBook Pro. However, this year may be a bit more happening. For starters, we have a new iPad health app which is one major reveal. However, 
The company is expected to also introduce Apple's first mixed reality headset in addition to the respective OS update for its devices as well as a new 15-inch MacBook Air. With the introduction of the iPad Health app, a mood tracker tool, a journaling app, and more, Apple is making an effort to enhance the emotional and physical health of its customers. It's a welcome addition to their impressive lineup of devices and services. Even more impressive is that this is just one of several new features iOS 17 introduces this year. And we can't wait for June's Worldwide Developers Conference to find out what else Apple has in store for us. That being said, you can watch our next video and find out everything we know about iOS 17 features. It's going to be massive.